Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk to you about integrating a one-on-one -on -one training into your group program. So if you've been watching my content for a while now, I talk a lot about how in order to grow and scale your, your training business, the most viable way to do that and the most scalable way to do that is via groups. Now, I understand a lot of coaches when they do start their business, what they do is they start off with one-to-one -one training, which is fantastic. But what you're going to find is that if you are your own coach in, in the sense that you're doing the you're running the entire show, so you're running the business, you're doing the coaching, then if you're just focusing on one-on-one -on -one training, then it's going to get to the point where every new client that comes into your business and wants to train with you, wants to work with you, you're going to have to put an hour more of your time on the field in order to service them. So the way we avoid that, because we, what, to give you an example, when I first started my business, I was doing up to 30 sessions, and these were all one-on-one -on -one sessions per week. And to be honest with you, it got to Sunday, and I was burnt out, right? I was burnt out. I didn't have any energy. And in my mind, I was thinking, right, I've got to do this all again next week. So this is something I, I don't want for you. I want you to avoid this. A lot of coaches think that to grow and scale a business, you need to work more. And the truth is you don't need to work more. You just need to be smart with how you structure and how you model your, your program and your system. So if you're currently doing group training, okay, I want, you, I want to encourage you to continue to grow that Okay, you can build a fantastic sustainable business by offering one training day per week and having up to four or five groups that you're training back to back. Okay, so you might decide, right, Saturday in my local area, Saturdays are the best days to do all my training because that's the day where a lot of the kids or players that play at teams, they don't have team training. Okay, so they will come along and they can train with you, right? So you could do, you could have training sessions from nine to one, okay, back to back, all in groups, right? You could be working with 10 players per group, do back to back sessions, and that's you done for the week, okay? Now, what you can do is in order to make sure that that is profitable, okay, you need to put, obviously, together a really good program where parents want to pay the money to get your help, but also you are providing a service that your competitor, who is offering maybe two, three times a week, doesn't provide, okay? Now, a lot of coaches ask me, should I be, should I be providing two, three, uh, even four training sessions per week to one client? Now, the truth is, you can, of course you can, but what you want to do is you want to have one training session per week, okay, where you're obviously providing great value, you're providing fantastic service, and then away from the, the pitch, right, you want to be doing stuff that other trainers don't do, okay, so this might be Zoom calls to talk about confidence, self-discipline, uh, college recruitment, uh, nutrition, right, loads of different things that, that other trainers don't teach the, their, their clients, okay? Now, apart from that, you might want to offer homework every week, okay? So homework where you have a system where you, they have to be accountable to that homework and, they, and you have to make sure that that homework's being done, okay? So that's another one. Or, you know, an, another one could be you... you create an online program where those players, when they're not with you in person, they're following a program day by day, 
Okay, so you might have a training, an online program for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when you do your in-person training. And then Thursday, Friday might be another two days of online training until they see you again. Okay, so those are just a couple of ways of adding more value to making sure that you have a program that stands out from everyone else so you can charge more and you can get more clients. But if you are just doing groups and you want to integrate one-on-one training, okay, because I know a lot of coaches, what they do now is they just focus on groups because they don't want to do that one-on-one training. Now, one-on-one training is always a good option because it should be a premium type of service that you offer. And once you have a lot of demand for it, then I think the smart way to do it would be to offer it, okay? But I wouldn't start offering one-on-one training unless you have demand, okay? I would just focus solely on growing your groups to the point where some parents are saying, right, okay, we, you know, the group training is great, but we feel that our child needs now that, that one-on-one attention. Okay, fantastic, right. How many kids do we have that want to do that? If you have two, three, four parents that are saying the same thing, then I, I feel that that is the time when you offer the one-on-one training. Okay? If you don't have the demand, then just focus on the groups because that's going to be the easiest way to scale and grow your business financially. Okay? And also save you a lot of time in terms of coaching hours. Okay. Now, once your group starts to grow, so say, say you're, you, you, know, you have five groups of 10 players in that group, and now you're getting two or three parents per week that are asking you about one-on-one training, okay, this is where you can start to integrate it as part of your program. Okay. Now, you can do an option where if you have 50 clients at the moment and now they want to do one-on-one training with you, you can have the option where they do either a one-off session, but that one-off session, you know, you're, you're charging a high amount for it because it's just a one-off session. And to be honest, I don't personally like one-off one -off sessions because there's no, I don't see any value to it, okay? If they want development, if they want results, if they want a transformation, then you should really be doing at least one session per week for a minimum of three months okay so three months equals uh, 12 weeks so if parents just want that one-off session because they want to they want their child to, to to focus on a specific area of the game and that's fine i think that's a good option to have okay and you as the, the the business owner should be offering it but it shouldn't be a cheap option right it should be double the amount that it costs to, to join your group sessions, okay? Now, if parents can't afford that, then that is sometimes a good thing because it saves you time where, you know, that's an extra hour of training on the field for less money, okay? You want to be, if you're, if you're gonna be doing an extra hour of training, working with a client, you want it to at least be worth it. Okay, you want it to be worth it. So the best option is charging maybe double or just a bit more, well, significantly more than your group training. Okay, but if you are thinking about adding one-on-one -on -one training to your group setup, okay, love to connect with you. If you're watching us through, through, through YouTube, visit the description below. Okay, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. I jump on Zoom every single day. This is literally what I do every day, talking with coaches, connecting, um, writing blogs, sending email newsletters to, to, our, to the coaches who, are, who I work with or are part of our uh, program. Okay, so this is literally what I commit myself to doing every single day. So if you need help with your business, Right, don't stay stuck. Reach out to me. You can reach out to me either by my WhatsApp, uh, email, or you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call to see 
if we are a good fit to, to help you long term. Okay. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Okay. See you in the next one.